guys, it is Friday and we are heading out camping, driving in rush hour traffic. Actually, we hadn't really planned on camping this weekend. Uh, this was kind of... Uh, Last minute. Uh, yeah. I do. Yeah. I told Allie, I said, why don't we put in for a... see if we can get a spot at Colt Creek uh, State Parks through Wondering Labs. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then we wouldn't camp. So, lo and behold, uh, Wednesday night I put in a request and Thursday morning it was sitting there waiting on us. So we are camping at Colt Creek State Park over in technically it's Lakeland address but it's really pretty much kind of in the same area we camped at last weekend. So, good morning guys. We are here at Colt Creek State Park and we got in somewhat late last night around 7 p.m. and it was already dark. So that always makes for some challenging uh, times between me and Allie trying to back in in the dark. Especially when we couldn't get a phone signal at that point to, uh, to communicate very well. We could have taken the time, I suppose, to dug our walkie-talkies out, but we, uh, we didn't do that. Basically, we just got in and we had some dinner and enjoyed the campfire a little bit. Walked around the campground here after dark and very quiet campground. It's very quiet here this morning too. Get some breakfast in us, get around here and see, uh, see what this uh, park has to offer. So there's a trail right behind our camper over here and we, uh, we never had a chance last night to actually explore it but I just walked back here just now and there is actually this community fire pit right here which is kind of kind of neat. Nice little fire pit with some benches. And then just on a little farther is, uh, I don't know if this is Colt Creek or not, but I think it is. So, also, beware of alligator signs. It definitely looks like that could be some alligator infested water. I'm just saying, I'm not getting too close. All right, we're gonna go check in. So I'm never gonna trust this thing again. I uh, suction cupped it to the window with our uh, other camera just to get a drive through of the campground as we were leaving uh, this morning here. And uh, all of a sudden I jammed on the brakes and Allie's like, what? And I said, our camera just fell. Threw Nikki in the floorboard and uh, about gave Allie a heart attack. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I thought we were getting ready to hit a turtle or something. Yeah. I didn't know. Well, it, uh, the camera survived, so that's a good thing. Yep. We thought we'd give you a little bit of information here about Colt Creek State Park. It is, what, 5,000 acres? Mm-hmm. A lot of wildlife here and... Some endangered <clears throat> species. Mm-hmm. Uh, we didn't see a whole lot of wildlife other than butterflies, but supposedly there are deer. And birds. We did see a lot of birds. Well, a lot of birds, but yeah. yeah. We were hoping mm -hmm. to see deer. They're supposed to have black bear here. And gators. Gators, of course. <clears throat> and uh, that's why I was looking over my shoulder to make sure there's no <laughs> gators back there. Yeah. <clears throat> but they have 34 uh, main... RV sites here at the campground. All of them have 50 amp service from what I understand. They well they actually have 30 amp and 50 amp. Uh, but uh, yeah. a nice a nice bathhouse here with a washer and dryer. Vending machines which yeah. I've never seen. Never seen vending machines. And also they had a uh, I don't know what you call it but it's if you have a heart attack you know the paddle thing. Yeah uh, the AD. Yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that was really cool. So this is I tell you what. Um, this campground is so immaculate like whoever takes care of this campground is they do a fabulous job yeah. of keeping it mowed um the sites are very nice clean clean it's just yeah very nice one thing uh you know when we first you know you first pulling in here and you're thinking it's you know it's beautiful it's a florida state park they're all beautiful in their own way but it's like uh, we've just kind of looking at it from video and and some of the things we were doing before we had ever came here I thought it's kind of open. The campground's kind of open and the trees are kind of uh, not a lot of shade and, and so on. But I tell you what, there is a vibe in this park. Yeah, there's something about it. Yeah, it is <clears> so <throat> quiet. It's so, I don't know. I, we just love it. We've fallen in love with it. The sites and are spread of, out. There were a lot of people here, but it, it wasn't crazy, you know, chaotic. No. It was just very calm. And, no. and there were kids, you know, riding their bikes and stuff, but it was, the families were very nice here, like mm -hmm. re really respectful of each other. Mm -hmm. The sites are far enough apart that you're not, uh, because there's not a lot of shade in, or 
I should say, privacy in between sides. The sides are far enough apart, you, you yeah. still have your privacy. Right. Well, we have just uh, loaded up on some provisions. We went to Publix, got some food. And, hey, can uh, I interject here? What? So last week we couldn't find firewood anywhere, right? Right. And we'd go to Publix just to get some food, and they had tons of firewood. Now, whether they had that last week, I don't know, but we would have never thought to just go to Publix to get firewood. Right. Okay. As you were. <laughs> so we are heading back to the RV now and uh, we're gonna have some lunch. And we have Nick and um, Lori and Jelly with us. So they're gonna enjoy um, camping with us tonight. We're excited to see them. Oh, Jelly wasn't making any sound, but she sure was. Uh, Getting excited? Oh my goodness. Very serious. Very serious. So Nikki, has oh got her cousin here. I guess we're cousins, right? Yeah, because you're cousins. Oh, yeah. oh. So they do rent kayaks and canoes here, and they have a uh, kayak and canoe launch right here. We're gonna go see what this trail here has to offer. <laughs> so this trail is supposed to be only a quarter mile long at this point. So we figure, what the heck, quarter mile. That's not that big a deal. Nikki can do a quarter mile. Watch out for ticks. And it's probably a good thing Allie's back in the RV right now resting. Because uh, she is a tick magnet. I don't know, that's pretty amazing. It'll start a little, it looks like a little oven. Yes, yeah, I think this, that's a wood burning oven tree. So we just got through hiking part of the Mac Lake Nature Trail here. And it's quarter of a mile. It was really easy. So apparently we do have some black bears, the Florida black bears in this park. And that would be kind of awesome to see. Wow. Wow. Holding still for you, dude. Wow! <laughs> I don't know how if it's focusing that close. I don't know. Wow, he's getting him some nectar there. Pelly's again. Uh, we're going to go downtown and, and check out some uh, stores and do a little shopping and have a little dinner before we head back to the campground tonight. This time we're actually getting out and walking the town of Dade City, which we've not really done. No. So they're having a uh, Volkswagen uh, bug jam here. Yeah. It's pretty cool. There's a bunch of uh, just, just beers All kinds of and buses. All Volkswagens. Yeah. Because I first seen the Volkswagen bus down there, and I told Allie, I said, oh, there's your Volkswagen bus, and I didn't realize these are all Volkswagens here. Are you guys happy you got to go shopping? Huh? Yeah, man. Not every day a dog gets to go shopping. Right? Get some new treats. <laughs> Unfortunately, we forgot to film the food when it first came out. We were so hungry. <laughs> so, use your imagination on what that looked like beforehand. It was good. It was. Uh, this was probably one of the best places we've had 
for me, this is the best shrimp and gets I've had, period, ever. End of story. Very spicy, very filling. Nick was saying it had Gouda cheese in it, which was so good. Allie's having, uh, what would you have, chef salad? But she's doing keto, so she's kind of keeping it plain and simple. So this place is called The Green Door in Dade City. And highly, highly recommend this. We were actually going to eat at Coca Pelli's again, and I'm, we went into the doggy boutique, and the lady in there, who was super friendly, giving our dogs treats and everything, uh, mentioned right behind the store here is the Green Door, dog friendly. And I'm glad she did recommend it because we're very happy with this yeah. place. If we come back here, we definitely eat here again. It's our only hope. It's our only hope. I've got to get back to the future. <laughs> Little motorhome inside. Hey, it's got a stove. Cool. Bed. That is cool. Wow, this one's really nice. Really nice. It's for sale. Wow. That's a Volkswagen. My teeth look great. Wow. What this has to do with making my teeth look great. <laughs> <laughs> if it's working, I'm just going to keep doing it. OMG. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. So last night we introduced uh, my sister and Lori and her boyfriend Nick to the Mexican train dominoes. Yeah, it was so much fun. I, I won the first game. Lori and Nick went home early this morning. They weren't feeling too well. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, hit some trails here because they got some pretty awesome trails from what I understand here. We And today we're going to try, must be one of the most popular ones out here because you see a lot of people parking at the, uh, the little parking lot for it. And there's actually four trails, three main trails. Mac Trail, which is 0.3, Flatwoods Trail, which is 10 miles, yep. and Yale Trail, which is 7 miles. And there's some spur cross trails that wind throughout too. They don't tell the distance of that one though. But so, they have equestrian trails through here. Nice trails that wind throughout the I tell you, forest. This, this is one of the best maintained parks that we've seen so far, as far as state parks. I mean, whoever is in charge of uh, keeping these uh, trails mown and everything is just uh, very, very, uh, very nicely maintained. So as we're walking through here, I noticed a pretty cardinal, a male cardinal, which are my favorites, and I just saw we, we have seen plenty of butterflies through here. They're just, they all flutter around you. It's pretty cool. Yeah, they, it's like the butterflies are super tame here. <laughs> to our first like turn okay. so we started at 36 and now we're at 35 this is nice this is even this is so nice because they actually show you on the map like yeah. stopping points to know exactly what part of the trail you're on yeah. that's so, so we can awesome really locate where we're at here at 35 mm -hmm. We found a uh, little cut through in the trail back to the uh, road. So we will be heading back to our truck now. We've got to head back to the RV and pack up to go home. So if you're new to our channel, we'd really appreciate you uh, subscribing if you haven't already. And in case you don't know us, I should have said we are Allie and uh, well, Chuck. Yeah, I'm Allie. <laughs> well, she's Allie, obviously, and I'm Chuck. And we are Allie Chuck Adventures. But uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And, and ring the bell notification because uh, 
you want to be able to, to know when we upload new videos. Yep. And uh, hit that like button down below. And all these things really help out the channel. Yep. And we appreciate each and every one of you. So yeah. we will see you guys next week. All right. Bye. We love you guys.